Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the advanced teleport plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which adds loads of commands to do with teleporting, setting homes, warps, etc. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So if we start with forward slash AT help, that's going to show us the different categories of help commands. And then if we select one, do forward slash AT help and then teleport, that's going to show us all of the commands in that category. So here are all the teleport commands. There's quite a few of them. You'll recognize a lot of them. But if I get my other account to TPA to me, we will either have to do full slash TPA yes or TPA no in order for him to teleport to me. And then there'll be a three second delay before he gets teleported here. And there he is. So next, if we do full slash TP off, we can disable teleport requests. And then obviously you can do TP on to turn that back on. So you can also use the command for slash toggle TP to turn the request on and off, which is pretty useful. And then if you do for slash TP block followed by my other account, that will block him from sending any requests to me. And then if you do for slash TPO to someone that will teleport us immediately without delay. Using for slash TPO will send a request for players to teleport to my location, which is pretty awesome. And then if we go ahead and do forward slash back, that's going to teleport us to our previous location in three seconds, as long as we don't move. And here we are. Now, if we do AT help and then warp, we can look at the warps command. So there's not that many compared to the teleport command. So we can do forward slash warp set and then a name. And then we do forward slash warp and then test two to teleport to it. And in three seconds, it will teleport us there, which is pretty cool. And we can do forward slash warps to list all of the warps that we've created, such as this. Then if we do forward slash AT help spawn, we can look at the spawn command. So you can set spawn and teleport to spawn in three seconds. But obviously if you move, it's going to cancel it. So if we wait three seconds, we'll be teleported there. And then if we do forward slash AT help random TP, this is one of my favorite commands. So if you do forward slash RTP, that's going to teleport you randomly in the world somewhere. So it searches for a location and in the config file, you can specify which blocks you don't want to be teleported onto, such as lava or water. Then if you do forward slash AT help homes, this is going to show us the homes command. So you can set homes, you can delete homes and you can list homes of a particular player. So if we just set a home here, we can call it whatever we want. So test 11, for example. And if you do forward slash homes, it's going to list all of the ones that we've created. So it's got um, the names of all of our homes. And if we do forward slash Dell home followed by one of the homes, we can delete it. So that deleted home test. And then if we do forward slash home followed by, let's go with home one, it will teleport us to there in three seconds, but obviously we moved. And finally, we can do forward slash AT help admin. That's going to show us the admin command. So if we do AT info, that's going to show us information about the plugin. So who to contact if we found bugs and who the author is, which version it is, etc. And if you want to reload the config file, you can do forward slash AT reload. So that's pretty much everything in game. We're going to hop over to the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. And as you can see, there are quite a few YML files. Thankfully, most of these are just storage files, so you don't really need to worry about them. The ones we're going to look at are the custom messages.yml and the config.yml. So if we look in the config to begin with, we can see up at the top, we can enable and disable certain features of this plugin, which is pretty cool. And then if we scroll down to the timer section, we've got the command cooldown of five seconds and the default teleport timer of three seconds. However, you can change that for each different command. So if you want maybe TPR to be longer, you can replace default with however many seconds you wanted that to be. Then we've got cancel on rotate and movement. Do you want that to occur? Yes or no? And booleans. So do you want payments to use either Vault, uh, so money, or XP? Yes or no? And then here is the payment section, so the default price of 100. And obviously you could enable that for all of these and change it per each one. And then if we scroll down even more, we've got the XP section. So it is two XP per teleport, although you could change it for each one as just like before. And then we've got TPR. So this is the random teleport command and it's got the maximum and minimum X and Z coordinates. So it can literally make you go anywhere and it will use world border as well. And it will also avoid lava and water, which is good. Um, so obviously you won't be thrown into a massive pit of lava or into a massive ocean. Then do we want a distance limiter? So how far you can actually teleport, which is pretty interesting. And do you want that to be associated with certain commands, for example? 
Then if we go back and go into custommessages.yml, we can see we can change all of the messages that will pop up in chat. There's a lot of them, um, but I think they look pretty nice to begin with, so you don't really need to edit that at all. So that is everything in the config files that we can edit. If we hop over to the Spigot page, you can see there's loads of information down here, and it's just a really awesome plugin. If you need any help, contact the developer. He'll be happy to help you. And obviously, if you want to download it, click the Download Now button. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.